So you just got a new micro SD card to upgrade your Nintendo Switch storage. And if you had a micro SD card with information already on it, you might be wondering, how do I move one from the other? Well, that's what this guide is all about. Now there is a guide on Nintendo's website showing you how to transfer your information to a new micro SD card. But when I tried to do it myself, it didn't work. Now, you can try it out Nintendo's way, and for all I know, it'll work. I'm a Mac user, and it could just be that the Mac operating system does something weird with the program that they want you to use. But this is what works for me, so I'm just going to do it this way. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is to shut down your Nintendo Switch. You can do this by holding down the power button, selecting power options, and then selecting turn off. Once the Nintendo Switch is off, you can open up the kickstand of the Nintendo Switch, push in on the micro SD card for it to spring out, take that micro SD card and insert it into your computer, either using a port that your computer has or an adapter. Now what you're going to want to do is on your computer, open up the micro SD card and save the file marked Nintendo to your desktop somewhere you can easily access it. Depending on how large the micro SD card and how many games you have installed on it, this could be a fairly large file size. So make sure you have room. If you don't have room or you just simply want to transfer your save files and re-download your games later, you can simply open up the Nintendo folder and copy over the file marked save. This is all of your save files for all of your games. I personally have the room for it and I am going to move over all of the downloaded games to the new micro SD card, which in my opinion is much faster and easier to do than downloading it all on the Nintendo Switch all over again. After you've made your copy of the Nintendo folder, you're going to want to eject the micro SD card from your computer. With your Nintendo Switch still powered off, insert your new micro SD card into it. Then, power the Nintendo Switch back on. When your Nintendo Switch turns on, go into System Settings, then go down to System, and then go all the way down the list to formatting options. If you have a parental controls code, insert that. And then go down to format micro SD card. Press continue. And it's going to inform you that it's going to delete everything on that micro SD card, which is all right because this is a brand new micro SD card with nothing on it. The system will restart. After that, shut down the Nintendo Switch once again and remove the new micro SD card from the Nintendo Switch. Then put the new micro SD card into your computer, again using an adapter or a slot that is built into your computer. Now I will demonstrate here how to transfer your data from the old micro SD card copy that you made on your computer, which is in the window on the left, over to your new micro SD card, which is the window on the right. First, we're going to start with the most important part, the save files. Now open the folder that's marked save. These are your save files. Select all the save files and move them over into the new micro SD card save folder. You will likely have more save files than I do on screen. When you move over the save files, you'll likely get an option to replace the files that are in the new micro SD card. Go ahead and replace all of the files. After you finish moving over your save files, open up the contents folder. 
in the contents folder, you'll see two files marked private and private one. Go ahead and move those over to the contents folder of your new micro SD card and replace the ones that are already existing in there. After that, you can open the registered folder, which is where all your digital games are saved. Select all of the folders that are in there. These are all of your games that you've downloaded to the micro SD card. Move them over to your new micro SD card and wait for them to copy over. This could take a long time if you have a lot of downloaded games. And the last step here in the contents folder is to move over the folders inside of the place HLD folder. So open that folder and move over the folders to the new micro SD card. These folders should be empty, but you need them regardless. Now I would leave the album folder alone. This contains your screenshots and screen recordings. And there is a way to get these back by transferring the screenshots and screen recordings to the Nintendo Switch internal storage. And then, if you want to, back over to your new micro SD card. I'm going to show you how to do my method at the end. Once you're done copying over your game saves and your digital downloads, to the new micro SD card, go ahead and eject the micro SD card from your computer. Now, with your Nintendo Switch turned off, insert your new micro SD card into your Nintendo Switch and then turn your Nintendo Switch on. From there, you should be able to check to see if all of your games and save data has been moved over. If you get an error, I suggest formatting the micro SD card with the Nintendo Switch once again and starting over. Now, if you had your screenshots set to save to your micro SD card, you might notice that your Switch won't be able to take screenshots any longer. What you're going to need to do is go to System Settings, down to Data Management, Manage Screenshots and Videos, then select the Save Location and change it to System Memory. And if you really want it to go back to your S micro SD card, you can switch it back to the micro SD card. And then it should be set to save to your new micro SD card instead of remembering your old one. Now, if you had screenshots and screen recordings on your old micro SD card, what you can do now to retrieve them is shut down your Nintendo Switch take out your new micro SD card and insert your old micro SD card that still has the screenshots and screen recordings still in it. Then turn your Nintendo Switch back on, then navigate to System Settings, Data Management, Manage Screenshots and Videos, then go down to the section that says Copy slash Delete Screenshots and Videos, and select micro SD card. Then select copy all screenshots and videos to system memory. Once it's done copying everything to system memory, if you would like those screenshots and screen recordings to be on your new micro SD card, do the same thing, turn off your switch, put in the new micro SD card, Navigate to the same area on your Nintendo Switch in the system settings and then copy them back to your micro SD card. And with that, that covers absolutely everything that you need to know to transfer your data from your old micro SD card to your new one. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer all of your questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.